Good morning. Happy Thursday to you. Welcome back to Four More Minutes. I am Sam Bailey, the soul star, stirring up your hearts and your minds for God. I want to thank you guys for joining me today, and we appreciate you for joining me, uh, joining us Monday through Friday. As you can see that uh, we're in the middle of a mini blizzard as far as it's concerned with us here in Texas. Uh, but it's all good. It's great to see these wonderful drops of snow falling. But I want to make sure uh, that we uh, give a, a little word today. I wanted to talk today about uh, knowing when to say no. I know that's tough for some of us. Sometimes we got to learn to say no. I think wanting to please people you know, wanting to make everybody happy, not wanting to rub people the wrong way. Sometimes we say yes when we really mean no. Uh, there was an old song by a group that was out when I came up called uh, Destiny's Child. It's like, you be saying no, 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 when it's really yes, 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 yes. But I'm saying you be saying yes, 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 when it's really no, 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 no. I think uh, sometimes we do that because maybe we feel obligated to be there for everybody at every moment in every situation. I understand that. Sometimes we feel obligated to say yes to a person who especially was there for us in a key or crucial moment. Sometimes we feel obligated because it's just in our heart to do, even if that person hasn't done anything for us or even if that person has done us wrong, we just feel like it's necessary to, to do that. But I'm saying say no if it's uh, going to affect you in such a way that's going to cause you some harm or some loss. Uh, and I think that uh, sacrifice is important and giving up your last for somebody who's in need, making a sacrifice, making an offer. And I understand all those things. Uh, but, but there are some people who do need to be told no for various reasons. And I think a lot of times we end up regretting things, end up being upset at ourselves because we have not yet learned how to say no. It can be a great uh, tool. Uh, and there's no... There's no, uh, you know, nothing that's unchristlike or unchristian or uh, not spiritual about saying no. It kind of goes back, I guess, to what we talked about a while back, which is setting healthy uh, boundaries. I think we would be healthier if we learned how to say no. I think we would be happier if we learned how to say no. That means I can't be everything to everybody at all times. Saying no means that there are limitations that I have, and I acknowledge that. But uh, saying no also means that uh, there's time restraints and restrictions that I acknowledge as well. Uh, but I think we do say yes probably more than we say no. Sometimes it's just about saying yes to the right things and to the right people at the right places at the right time. The difference between yes, oh, <laughs> the difference between yes and no could be the difference between your life, finding your life and losing your life. So learn the difference and, and know it. No is, is a good word, a word that we need to infuse into our vocabulary a little bit more uh, no can give us peace of mind no can give us the right perspective so god bless you today uh for those of us in texas stay warm and all over uh the southern region midwestern region y'all stay warm today just to see the blessings of god uh rain upon our lives and the blessings of god rain down like the snow